welcome back to my channel. So we're going to do a recap on some of my favorite Amazon finds over the past year. So stick around and let's talk about it. So a lot of these items I would say are just kind of practical items for my day to day, but maybe they'll be helpful for one of you out there. So let's just talk about a few of them. So the first item that I have on my list is an organizer for some of my makeup. So I was really excited about getting an organizer. I've been wanting one for a while. It actually I did purchase a few over the years but ended up tossing them for whatever reason. But this one I really do like. So I've organized all of my makeup and I still have a larger space at the bottom to house wigs or a blow dryer or larger items and I haven't decided what I'll put in that section but I'm really happy thus far with all of my makeup being organized finally so I'm definitely recommending this organizer for makeup and then when you look at some of the specs it says it's a 4-in-1 makeup rolling train case aluminum trolley for professional use. I am not a professional, but I love it. And I love that it is in a small, compact area at home, but I also can travel with it if I need to for whatever reason. I don't know why I would need to, but I could if I wanted to. And so this, um, this, this, organizer um, was $135 so I think it's well worth it when I think about how it really serves me in again housing all of my makeup and keeping it in a space where I can find things so definitely a thumbs up on this item next on my list are some disposable cleaning cloths for my face so I was a person probably like many of you who was just using traditional face cloth um, for cleaning my face when I'm in the shower or taking a bath or whatever uh, but then I decided I don't want to have to use an actual towel for this I would rather something that's more disposable and probably more gentle for my face so I did come across these clean skin club uh, extra large face towels that are disposable and they're 100% organic and I love them so I do purchase them kind of in bulk because I seem to go through them pretty quickly with washing my face minimum twice a day and I really do enjoy them so I kind of have them in my shower and um, also on my um, vanity um, to kind of just wash my face after I go through the process of cleansing my face if I'm wearing makeup or, or not um, and I love them so I definitely would recommend these as well and the cost for uh, a pack of 100 is $30 um, you can get a pack of 200 for $60 or $300 for $77 uh, but again I always purchase them and I like to keep fully stocked on them I definitely would give them a huge thumbs up next on my list I do get lash extensions as you can see and so I do maintain them I'm actually I go every two weeks to get a fill I'm actually due tomorrow to get a fill so please don't focus too closely on what they're looking like right now um, but I do cleanse them so I do have a lash extension shampoo that I've also purchased through Amazon uh, I do like the brand um, Stacy Lash Store and I love the shampoo it's really gentle it also comes with a little cleansing brush uh, and I don't do it every day uh, because I do want to maintain my lashes but pr pretty much every other day I will use the shampoo to cleanse them thoroughly and then I just blow dry them and then kind of wand them out um, but I love the shampoo it is uh, 6.76 ounces and I get a pack of one normally. It is $22 for um, that container with the brush, but you can get a larger container if you like, and I get this regularly, so I definitely am a fan of this shampoo. 
for sure. <laughs> and then on the topic of lash extensions, I also get uh, some disposable uh, wands for my lashes and you can get them in any color. So fuchsia, as you probably can tell by now, is one of my favorite colors. And so I did purchase them in fuchsia. They're a pack of 100 and they do come in many, many colors. They have teal, turquoise, yellow, just tons of colors. Um, but I did select this color for my collection and I love them. I have them everywhere in my car, in my purse, in uh, the bathroom. I have them everywhere so that if I'm ever finding that one of my lashes are connected for whatever reason and I need to kind of just fluff them out, I always have one of these wands with me. So definitely a huge thumbs up for this purchase as well. Oh, and I didn't mention, it's only $5. $5, okay, for a pack of 100. Okay, disposable eyelash, mascara, brushes, applicator, makeup kits, 100 pack. Um, and sometimes I even use them to fluff out my eyebrows. I get my eyebrows microbladed if I have not mentioned that before. I will bring you with me on my next appointment, which will be probably later in the year. Um, because it does last quite a while um, but I do sometimes use these brushes to just kind of fluff out or reshape my eyebrows as well so definitely multi-use for these wands huge thumbs up for them as well okay so many of you I'm sure have seen different youtubers and influencers especially ones who are using their pages for makeup reviews and things that are wearing these kimono robes. I love these robes. I have them in so many colors and I've purchased them from Amazon. They are super comfortable, super chic and cute. Some people have mixed reviews. They're like, I don't like them. Why do they look like this, that, and the other? Some are just not a fan of like the Asian influence. I particularly love it. So I also purchased some for my bridesmaid many, many moons ago. Um, and I actually decided to go with a solid color for whatever reason they didn't have um, you know they weren't going to arrive in time in fuchsia or the color that I was thinking so long story short I love these robes so I purchased a few more just to add to my collection and I like to just throw them on after a warm bath or a hot shower or if I'm doing my makeup or going out for date night I love to throw these on so I purchased a couple more and I live for these robes. I have, all of mine are uh, full length. I have not purchased any that are, um, you know, above the knee. Um, I just feel like it's more luxurious and I live for them. So definitely a fan of the kimono robes. Oh, and I didn't mention, they're like $30, okay? Like depending on your vendor, you can get them for about 29, 30 bucks. So definitely affordable uh, to give you that chic, elevated look when you're at home relaxing. So definitely again, a fan of the kimonos. Okay, so another fashion item uh, that I purchased from Amazon was this very cute beret with pearls. So I was watching a show, I'm not sure if it was one of the housewife shows or which reality show it was, but one of the main characters had on a beret like this. And so immediately I went to Amazon and was like, I need to find this beret, especially now that we're in the fall. This is definitely my vibe and I need this in my collection. And so I did find it for 12 bucks. I found this cashmere, uh, beret winter beret uh, with pearls and so it was exactly the color and the style that I was looking for so I'm very happy with this purchase it also comes in many other colors like um, a pearl white red pink yellow and I think a few other colors I think there was a blue as well but red I'm sorry but black was exactly what I was looking for with a bold red lip everything and for 12 bucks I mean come on I love this beret so definitely a fan of this item as well okay next on my list were some more practical items I wanted to have some more phone chargers because like all of us I'm sure we're somewhere we're out somewhere our battery is about to die 
and we have to ask if someone has a charger and so I just felt it was time to just have some backups in various sizes and so I purchased these cuties in fuchsia purple color uh, three inch two six inch and a ten inch were in the pack and again I wanted to get a, a color that was different from white especially if you're in a mixed crowd and people are borrowing chargers if you're at work um, you don't want to forget it a and you also don't want someone else to take claim on your property so I wanted to make sure it was a color that would stand out that people could say oh this is Jen's or I can remember oh let me make sure that I'm getting my my charger before I go so yeah, I'm very happy with this item as well as the sizes that came with it uh, it also came in blue um, I also got the the charging block in the same color uh, and these purchases were less than 20 bucks to have four extra charger cables and two extra charging blocks I mean definitely well worth it so I definitely would encourage each of you to make sure you're investing in getting some additional chargers because you always run out of your charge at some point especially if you're visiting family for the holidays or for events and things and so it's always a good idea uh, to have an extra charger in a color that will stand out that you can remember next on my list i purchased some webcam covers if you're like me working from home uh, or even you know participating in any other zoom meetings and things for whatever reason sometimes you just want to triple check to make sure your camera is not on when you're unaware it has happened to me i was actually working i was on a zoom for a all hands meeting and we were just about to start the meeting and i was running late and so i was still curling my hair so i'm sitting at my desk I'm curling my hair and didn't realize my camera was on until my chat box started blowing up where people were like, oh my God, Jen, you are on camera, curling your hair, like get it together. So that was embarrassing, although it could have been much worse. I had people in that situation telling me, girl, don't worry about it. We had someone who was in their pajamas walking around while their Zoom cameras on during another meeting. So you're good. So, but still, it was embarrassing for me, and so I wanted to prioritize making sure I always have webcam covers. That was many, many years ago at this point, but I always think about it, and so uh, always make sure that you're investing in, in something like that as well. It is very inexpensive for a pack of three. For a pack of three, it's $4.29 for a pack of three, and so I have two laptops and so I just have one on each one is a personal one is my work laptop I always have a cover there and you can just kind of slide it left to right to either reveal yourself or to hide yourself until you're ready so definitely definitely invest in a webcam cover next on my list is some Apple watch bands I am a person that loves to coordinate with my looks and so I purchased several packs of six of these Apple Watch bands. So uh, right now I have on a grayish color uh, because of the look I was wearing earlier for work. Um, but I, I love them so I'm able to kind of change them out depending on my look and my vibe, what I have going on. I have many, many Apple Watch bands. I have solid colors, all the colors in the world you can think of on your swatch as well as different patterns so I love animal print I love abstract lines and things and so I have just all of the watch bands that you can think of and I always prioritize doing that I normally do it for my phone as well making sure I always have all the colors or various colors for my phone case as well um, and so I love it and so you just never you underestimate many of us do how something like your watch band or your case cover on your phone can really just affect your mood and your energy during your day so definitely encouraged to invest in 
different options for your watch bands. And again, they're very inexpensive. Um, again, this is a pack of six and it is $13, $13 for a pack of six. So definitely a huge thumbs up for these bands. Next on my list is a dupe. It's a Bottega Veneti Zebra Clutch dupe uh, that I purchased for $43.93 from Amazon. I love this clutch. It is the right size. It's just zebra. It's just fantastic for many looks. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to purchasing the Bottega just yet. And so I was watching another YouTuber was talking about um, some dupe options. And so I really do like this dupe. So I'm definitely a fan. Again, the size, I'm able to store a lot. Uh, the quality of it, definitely a fan of the zebra clutch. Okay, next on my list, I purchased a registration card holder. So I'm sure many of you in your car just kind of throw your registration in the glove compartment or have it in the side of the door or, you know, just in various places in your sun visor. I wanted to kind of have things as organized as possible. And so I did purchase this insurance uh, holder that, again, it's in a color that, you know, means so much to me. But I love having things organized. So I have my insurance card, my registration, everything is in there so it's easy to find. Again, it's a color that'll stand out uh, if for whatever reason I'm, I need to grab it quickly. Hopefully I never have to grab it quickly. Um, but I do like to have it organized. So I definitely am a fan of this uh, it was only $14 for this organizer and so I have it all of my information again neatly stored in my glove compartment in this holder and so I'm definitely a fan of this as well okay my last car item is a car diffuser so I've been really into diffusers in the home uh, I was more a person who would go to the body shop and have uh, the oil burners that's what I've used for many many years until recently I've gotten into the diffusers that I purchased from Target and so I was looking at another video uh, from another influencer that I follow and they were talking about this car diffuser so I immediately purchased it from Amazon and have it in my car I don't know how I feel about it just yet in all honesty uh, because you do have to put water in it you add the oil of your choice uh, but I found that it was a little flimsy it could just be that it's supposed to number one sit in your cup holder and if you hit a bump here in the Bay Area, there are a lot of hills. And so I was driving the other day and I was like, oh, it's about to tilt over. And so it was a little tilted, a little water spin spilled over. And so I'm still a little bit on the fence about it. So next on my list are a couple travel items. So I travel pretty regularly uh, for leisure and for work. And so I purchased this Kenneth Cole reaction set, 20 inch and a 28 inch set, um, and like this rose gold color for $179. Love this set. However, I traveled to New York and by the time I arrived to New York with just one layover from the Bay Area, my luggage was jacked up both pieces. The wheels, it was almost like maybe you could say that it was too much weight on the wheels but they were busted up and so thankfully i always purchase insurance through amazon and so i was able to file a claim as soon as i struggled and got to my hotel i did file a claim and it was very quick the turnaround they were able to fully reimbursed me uh, for my purchase, the $179, and I repurchased another luggage set. So love, love, love this set. Like I mentioned, only got to use it once and was able to repurchase another one, but I was really hesitant about how much to pack. I am a person that does overpack, so I know I know that is an issue. Uh, however, I was really happy with the overall purchase and the insurance 
and the color i mean the rose gold is just it's totally me and it was just very cheap i got a lot of compliments on it and loved it so definitely try it out kenneth cole reaction in this rose gold they have other colors but this is the color i went with they also have other sizes as well i think they have a larger size even smaller carry-on size um, but i opted for the 20 and the 28 inch on the topic of travel i also purchased a little portable weight for measuring how heavy my luggage is as i mentioned i always overpack i'm always worried will this meet the limit or exceed it and so something told me i need to purchase this little weight and so the weight comes in several colors silver blue and red i purchased red uh, it can weigh up to 110 pounds which is sufficient it does operate with a battery you can get two a pack of two or a pack of one which is what i did and it's only 10 bucks for this weight so i definitely am excited to use it i have travel coming up soon so i'll definitely use it and let you know um, my experience with it but i was just thinking why did i never have one of these my dad he actually had an old school scale that he would weigh my mom and i when we would travel he would weigh our luggage sets for us so he would pick it up and sit it on the weight um, but it was really bulky and i have no idea where that is at my parents house at this point but i think this little portable weight is exactly what i need you just attach it to your luggage handle and pull up and it will then be able to weigh your luggage for you so i'm excited to use it in a few weeks and very excited that i have it in my collection now there are a few decorative items that i purchased because i wanted to give my home office a revamp and glam it up more for uh, the new year and so there are several items that i want to kind of review with you there are a few pieces of wall art that i have on my wall in my office glam room i purchased them from the oliver gal artist uh, through amazon uh, they are various cost um, from like $70 to $160 depending on the size of the art and, and the art that you select. I selected uh, a couple pieces. So Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and uh, YSL. There are a couple other items that I want to purchase like Prada and Gucci uh, because I wanted to have pieces that are brands that really speak to me and these are some of my favorites so two additional ones i will be purchasing purchasing They're, they were just out of stock the size that i was interested in but i love these pieces they came pretty quickly but again um it really just speaks to what the aesthetic i was looking for in my glam room office so i'm really happy with them and this this designer i really love his artwork so definitely a fan of this as well next on the decor side of things is probably my most favorite purchase from Amazon last year is this five tier bookshelf in an industrial style I love this bookshelf I was watching one of my favorite youtubers Jeremy Camicia hey girl hey I am such a fan of hers and just so proud of like watching her growth and you know personal growth as well as her uh, YouTube growth and so she was talking a little bit about this bookshelf and I was like that is totally my vibe as well and it's interesting because I feel like she likes a lot of the things that I already like as well like she's really into butterflies and kind of the aesthetic she goes for we have a lot of the same clothes which is crazy <laughs> so I feel like she's my friend in my head but that is a side note um, but anyway I was inspired by her 
talking about this bookshelf and so I ordered it as well um, mine is not as fabulous as hers is uh, but I definitely do love this piece in my office and glam room so uh, this piece was a uh, hundred and sixty dollars and then I got two additional smaller shelves to put on each side and I love this you're able to kind of you know repurpose it put pieces and items there that really speak to you um, but I love this shelf so definitely I would say this is my favorite purchase from Amazon last year also I purchased a lot of my decorative books that are also on my decorative bookshelf uh, from Amazon and so that includes the Gucci book a Chanel book, a Louis Vuitton book, and then also a Tom Ford book. These books cost a little over $300, uh, so it definitely was. I knew I'd be spending a couple hundred dollars for, um, for these books, but I knew it was the vibe and the aesthetic that I was going for, so I'm really happy and love these decorative books that I purchased from Amazon. Next on my list are some angled wine glasses that I purchased. So I'm not a huge drinker. I'm trying to really develop my palate for wine. Uh, I like to occasionally have a glass of wine when I have just a stressful week, uh, which is sometimes often with dealing with my workload. Um, but I did know and and want to make sure that I was prioritizing kind of updating my wine glasses I purchased some wine glasses years and years and many many years ago that came with a set of dishes and so it was just some standard wine glasses but I felt that they were kind of stained I don't know if that was a result of the dishwasher or what or just kind of sitting in the cabinet forever but I did not love them and they were super heavy they were just they were just not the vibe and so I decided to purchase a set of three angled wine glasses and I love 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 these wine glasses they're super dainty they're very light the the stem of the glass is very slim and it's just an elegant glass to me and I love the slanting of it all it makes me want to enjoy a glass of wine so I love these glasses I feel like a set of three was perfect because it's just myself drinking wine we don't often have company uh, if my girlfriend comes over it still gives us an extra glass if someone else were to come over but I don't have company often and so set of three to start was perfect I love these glasses and they were very affordable uh, and shipping was perfect and uh, again I love just the whole look and feel of these glasses so a huge fan and would definitely recommend these glasses Next on my list, again, back to my glam room office space, I wanted to get a futon cover for a black futon that we've just had for several years um, because I felt like having a small puppy, sometimes there's hair, sometimes I'm shedding. I just did not want to have to look at hair on this black futon. And so I found uh, a futon cover. It's a velvet covering um, and it is perfect. I did get it in a purple color um, and I love this cover. You, It's washable, uh, it fits perfectly and it really does just really complement the aesthetic that I have in my home office glam room. So I'm definitely a fan of this futon cover. It was very affordable. It was $28 and it had various colors and styles to choose from but this was a color that I was really going for. I'm very much a fan and would certainly recommend this brand. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm grateful to you all as always for your support and for tuning into my channel. I hope that you will continue to support. Uh, let me know if there's something in particular that you're interested in me talking about or covering. I welcome your suggestions and always uh, your comments. I hope that you will like and share. If you are new joining my channel, welcome. And I hope that you will subscribe 
enjoying the community. Um, but other than that, I'm wishing you all the best uh, in your week. And I'll see you on the next video.